hello guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to do an update a tarot reading a dynamic tarot reading for um for bts uh jk jungkook and b taeyong so yes um and of course that um i want to clarify for people that are not part of my channel and they come across my readings um, I do not do shipping readings so you know the purpose of this is to read their energies how they feel for each other I know that me um, visited like he went on stage for a few seconds to to dance with uh, with with Jungkook um, on Inhigayo I believe um, so that was a very cute moment so you know I want to see how how they're doing uh, this was also requested so please be respectful and do not ruin this for others like you know I know all of you have your different point of view and and also um some you know perceptions about, about them but please just you know be respectful be respectful and and just like do not you know um do not start those conspiracies or you know i have been been seeing um some uh, solo stance comments on jk video um being very disrespectful towards the rest of the members of pts so i'm going to block these people i cannot believe that these people have you know the audacity to to write something like this we should all be appreciative of all the members um and and not be so selfish and and you know blaming others or just having this suspicion you know this is not why they do this just you know enjoy the music and and don't you know don't spread those um very negative points of view um it's, it's not okay to speculate over people's life you know and and you know i'm using cars just to see uh, how they're doing uh, in an energetic point of, of view so yes let's do this let's enjoy this and and that's it um <clears throat> so i placed a b taeyong on the left and jk on the right so let's begin um Starting with, with B and his side is always very strong. He's a, a very, I mean, he had always had a, a very strong temper. You know, the cards that he usually gets are very, the cards are very strong when it comes to energy. And they also are very like, um, you know, like um, sort of like, you know, this very dominant energy that uh, whatever he's going through, he is in that in that state and it seems like no one can move him out of this state you know and i think that um, from what i'm seeing of his cards um he has a very strong position when it comes to his relationships he's feeling very um, very assertive he's feeling very open also he's feeling stronger than ever um and i think that this is how how it, it, it is also the same in his connection, uh, in his friendship with JK. Uh, there's a sense of, you know, like um, him also being, you know, I believe that he also gives sort of advices to JK or he is a sort of inspiration for JK uh, about how to be strong, you know, and how to remain in a place of you know i'm going to do what i want to do and you're not going to stop me so i think that that i don't see uh Taeyong like telling jk what to do i think that that yes the communication is open because we start with the ace of swords so there's a lot of clarity uh when it comes to Taeyong or from Taeyong to jk uh there's there's like a, a lot of honesty a lot of openness you know they talk about what really matters to them and and Taeyon is very like is very open and he probably you know what they talk about the most is how to stay strong you know how to how to also strengthen, strengthen their bond probably you know how to you know um I feel like there's a lot of um, odds or probably there's a lot of like complications sometimes in their lives, in their personal lives or, you know, dealing with fame. 
And I think that that uh, Taeyeon is like that sort of like person that he's like, you know, I'm I'm not, and this is not like affecting me. I'm actually stronger. I'm 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 not moving from here. You know, when I see the emperor in the strength card, I'm like, this guy is ready to fight all the the haters, and actually he wants to fight the haters. You know, I think that if it was for him, he would be a bit much like. You know, he would make like more public, like uh, probably like um, commentaries or or messages. But he just remains. You know, he holds himself back. He's like, or other people hold 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 him back. You know, and he's like, please don't say this. Please don't do this. Please don't respond to this. But he definitely wants to. He he definitely wants to. Um. And and I think that this is what he brings also to with the connection with JK is this sort of like, you know, I am what I am and you always know me. So you know me, you know that this is who I am. So I think that in their connection, um, definitely I sense that JK is, is more sweet. J JK is like more sensitive. JK is like the empathic one of the relationship of the connection. Um, but but definitely, um, um, when it comes to B, B is someone that that when you are around him, he sort of like inspires you to to you know keep going and being a sort of fighter, you know, like in and also like enjoying being powerful and enjoying like being assertive you know this is something about you you i think that he teaches jk to feel proud of his own decisions you know because i sense that probably for jk since he is so empathic or since he tries to get along with everyone even though he gets upset and i said this about jk before when i read for him JK can get annoyed at certain things, you know, people stepping on, over his boundaries, you know, people being disrespectful. He definitely can get triggered. He can get angry if he wants to, if he feels offended. Uh, but then eventually he sort of forgets or he, you know, his anger doesn't last that long. But for the in the case of, of Taeyong, he is much more like reactive. In the sense that, that if you've done something to him that he doesn't like, he's going to ignore you or he's going to do something about it. And also he's going to confront you and let you know that you <coughs> that you you hurt him or you've done something wrong. You know, this is his energy of him being a Capricorn and also a moon in Aries. You know, there's, there's a lot of about, I have to be honest with you. I have to be, you know, uh, I have to tell you to your face what you've done. You know, um, and and he just doesn't let people get away with whatever they want to do. And of course, that <clears throat> Jake, uh, Taeyong is very, he's very like, um, he knows his place. You know, he is the emperor in his life. He knows his, his um, you know, his influence. He knows who he is. He knows he's famous. He knows he's part of BTS. He knows this, and he, and he uses this because it's for him to use. You know, it's like he's not going to be hypocritical and be like, "Oh no, I don't know. I didn't know I was this famous, or I don't know if I'm that famous yet." And he's like, "Yeah, you know, I'm no. I know I'm not that. I know. I know. Like I work really hard to to get in here, and now that I'm here." Like, yes, I'm using my influence. And also, I'm not moving from here. Like, I don't care if you criticize me. I don't care if you don't like me. I don't care if you, whatever I do somehow, you are not, like, happy with what I do. I am me. <laughs> I am me, and I'm and I'm feeling very happy. So you are not going to, to, you know, move me from here. And if you don't like me, don't watch me. Something like this. Um... And and I think that that um, in in his connection with with JK, I don't see actually like um, I don't see Taeyong doing much in JK's life. Like uh, like I see him like doing like um, you know because I don't see them like hanging out twenty four seven. No, because I see that Taeyong is busy. He's like he's like 
focusing on himself probably he's working on his solo project at the same time because there's with the emperor there's something about like i'm working on my on myself or i'm working on my own or i have my own things um and 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 i think that that he's like but you know when we talk or when we communicate i let you know that you know, it's that you are doing great. I am that sort of force that pushes you forward. You know, I'm I'm also like somehow like inspire you to be a bit more daring. Like, come on, like like don't don't uh, like. You know, if if people pushes your buttons, like fight them back. You know, there's something about about Taeyeon teaching J.K. to respond back. You know, like don't. Like, be a fighter. <clears throat> Don't let other people move you of your place, of who you are. Don't let them get in your head. Like, you do you. And, and I think that in this case, I think that, that Taeyong is maybe probably one of the members. I think that he's the only one that has this sort of, like, watch me how I do it. Like, I'm not going to give you <coughs> a whole guideline of, like, how to beat this or how to survive this or how to be su successful in this, you know, but watch me. Watch me how I do it. And you do it, too. I know you can do it because you have observed me doing it and surviving this. So you can do it, too. So I think that this is like this is and also there's a lot of loyalty from Taeyong to to JK but but yeah I think that that from from uh, Taeyong's perspective is like okay yeah I know we are both like I don't say like they are this in distance like they are separated but they their goals and their life is in different roads so but I think that that there's something about like you know you know that that you know I'm here for you if you need me but I don't see like I think that 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 um that Taeyong has so much to do that that you know um it's like I will take a moment and and do something for you or talk to you or you know be there for you but I will not be always so get ready <laughs> fight them remember what I told you something like this um and then from, from JK's side, we have the Page of Cups, Five of Wands, Queen of Cups. See how he, how the energy swifted, swift, swifts? There's something about, you know, the energy changes when it comes to JK. JK is very loving. He's a very loving guy. When it comes to Tay, there's a lot of love. A lot of love, a lot of admiration. Like, he definitely feels... <coughs> He feels like, you know, like, um, I don't know why, but <clears throat> there's something about JK feeling a bit closer to Taeyong right now. In this, in this period of his life, I think that he's, he's like empathizing more with, with Taeyong and somehow he's understanding Taeyong better. He, uh, there was a moment, I think that there was a moment in the relationship where they actually had differences where they 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 fought they had like like a sort of like you know um a discussion they had a very strong you know um discussion or, or conflict but here with the five of wands in reverse and and the queen of cups i think that that um jk is slowly like somehow like thinking about this, you know, about the, 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 the old arguments, the old disagreements. And he's like, you know, I have to be more compassionate towards me, towards Taeyeon. I have to be more loving. And, and also there's something about him, you know, being, feeling very affectionate towards um, Taeyeon. There's something about that that is bringing them closer emotionally. I think that that for 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 JK probably there's this 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 feeling of like okay I I can show my love and support for you and and what I feel for you 
And I'm no longer in conflict about this. I don't fear anymore or I'm not like afraid or I'm not like, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not like, like, you know, arguing uh, with people like, you know, this is how I feel. This is how I feel. This is, um, you know, like, I don't care how people see this. This is really how I feel. Um, I think that um, that it's very important that um, for him it's very important in this period to he probably is feeling very sensitive so he's like spreading a lot of love I don't know if he's feeling sensitive because of something but he's like you know I have to let them know that I love them because I definitely am feeling very emotional um, so he's like you know I'm like uh, he's sort of feeling, feeling like motherly. I think that he's feeling like motherly towards um, towards Seyom. Um and he's feeling like okay, like I I have to be the one that lets him know that we are we are okay, you know, and that that I don't need to hold back. If I want to say that I love him or I want to say that I appreciate him, I will say it. I don't know, maybe there was a period in in, 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 in their friendship where he held back, you know, where he held back from expressing how he felt. Um, I think that it has to do with pride. I don't know um, if something happened. I don't know. Um, I think that it has to do with this fight or this conflict of the past, but it was like JK not wanting to show that that he really cared uh, for Tay. There was like, um, but but now he's like, you know, um, now he's feeling more empathic towards, um, and I know that I'm saying this a lot, but I think that somehow there's something about Taeyong's, um current energy or current state that he's like you know now that I'm going through this I kind of understand how you feel I understand how you felt back then you know so I don't know if maybe JK is going through something emotionally that is very similar to what Taeyong is feeling it's going through or went through so he's like I get it now now I get it. In the past, I couldn't see it. I couldn't understand you. I thought you were being selfish. And now that I'm going through this, now I'm being more understanding and flexible towards what you're doing. And I do appreciate you more for being honest. You know, um, I, I think that definitely there's like a sort of forgiveness, I would say, forgiveness, understanding, um, like he's becoming more compassionate towards Tay. I don't know if he he judged Tay in the past, or he he was like, "Oh, you're." I get the word selfish. Like you are being selfish. Like you are being selfish. And of course, that here we seen like from Tay's perspective, seeing the emperor. Of course, I I do get this this sense of him standing on his own. So definitely, I think that if this sort of posture towards life um, made or, or like what uh, from Jake's perspective was like okay he's been selfish yeah he's like being individualistic that you know uh, but I think that that now he's like being like more understanding he's getting it now JK that he didn't get in the past you know in the past he was like how can you do this how can you be like this you know so I think that, that for him it's all about, you know, somehow now finally opening his eyes. Like I said, he's feeling very sensitive. He's feeling, um, he's connecting much more with his intuition. So I think that he's slowly starting to see a lot of things that he refused to see in the past. You know, I think that he's slowly like seeing some things, you know, and and he's like now like oh, you know we shouldn't have fought back back then i shouldn't have you know uh, had that moment with you or had that disagreement 
but um, they both of them have a strong characters. Both of them have a, have a strong energies, different energies. They are very different. One is more emotional, and the other one is more like, like, you know, like very straightforward. Like, okay, I like you, I don't like you, you know, something like this, you know. Um, definitely, Taeyeon is more combative in the sense that that he's like, okay. Like either you you are with me or you're not with me, something like this. You know, um, I think that 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 Taeyeon is a bit like more like probably rigid, um, and he gets upset pretty easily. Like he, you know, he. In in the case of JK, he's much more like you can hurt him if you if you get to his emotional side, you know, but then on the other aspects he's pretty chill you know he's pretty calm um but yeah he's he's like understanding a lot of things um <coughs> and healing a lot of things also about himself um the relationship as an overall we have the ten of wands the the fool and the knight of cups so <coughs> I think that definitely a new beginning is going to come very soon for this two. Um, it probably has to do with the military, probably has to do with this, you know, um, then starting all over somehow, like, like, I don't know if they will go together, but there could be like them sharing a space, you know, um, or sharing, like uh, having to do or serve in the same place or in the same category. I don't know how, how this is called. Um, but I think that now, in, in, this, in these months, um, they are going to be very demanded when it comes to activities. You know, I see both of them really struggling, like really carrying a lot of weight. I don't know if if there's something about like okay we carry the weight on our shoulders ourselves because you know I don't know if maybe others are like the the oldest the the oldest members are already enlisting like there's more enlisting so it seems like at some point it's going to be JK and Tay with their activities so there there's something about them okay we have to you know, we have to make this, you know, better, we have to do well, we have to, you know, be responsible, commitment, you know, and just hang on in there, you know, because there's something about the, the you know, this month, probably the beginning of the year, something about being very, like, busy and, and them having a lot of things to do, a lot of things to do. And this has been very demanding to them, like physically even, because they will have a lot of things to do, a lot of things. <coughs> Honestly, I see them like, <coughs> like sort of like being busy and busy and busy, probably not, not meeting that much, but each of them in their individual works being very busy. Um, and also I would say dealing with a lot of like, I would say criticism, you know, I would say that they, they will not have it easy. I don't think that, that, you know, the criticism is going to be towards the two of them. It's going to be about them individually, you know, Taeyong because of what he does and and JK because of what he does, you know, there, but there's this sense of like, this is why there's this feeling of like, I get you now. Now that I'm going through this, I get what you, why you were so upset back then. Um, <clears throat> And and I think that there's something about them just like waiting for this sort of new beginning. You know, I think that somehow they want a change. They are waiting for the change. They are just putting, you know, all all of themselves to you know to keep working and working and working. But they but they somehow they want a rest or they want to be a bit like away from the cameras probably this is away from you know exposure they they sort of need need this release you know they they need to release all this if you see the ten of ones you know this this person carry all these state ones on their shoulders you know this has been like their energy through all these years you know of like of like okay 
I can carry all this weight. Okay, I can carry all this weight on my shoulders. Like, yeah, I can do, I can do it, I can do it. We will save time, we will say, save efforts because I can do it because I'm the youngest and I can carry it, you know. And somehow, you know, there's something about them like, when will this, you know, when will they be able to breathe a bit, you know? And I think that with the, with the full card, there's something about them finally dropping all those ones, you know, and being like, okay, I'm not carrying this extra weight anymore. I'm only caring about what concerns of me and nothing else. Um, and they need this sort of, I, I see it like a sort of liberation, you know, I see it like a sort of liberation. They have been working really hard. They had, they haven't complained even once, you know, they had been very diligent, but somehow this is what they have in common. You know, probably these are people that they never complained about, you know, probably this is all the BTS members, you know, they never said something about like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm tired. Like, you know, they never complained. They just kept going and going and going. And, and, and like, there comes a moment where this is not the life that they want to live. So it's like, okay, let go of that burden. It's not yours. Let it go. Let go of people's expectation. Let go of people talking, you know, just let it go, release it. And I think that they will experience a, a sort of like re release. And then we have the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups, it's also a very beautiful card. It's an emotional card. I would say that they will if they go to the military, they will meet. <laughs> because with the, with the Knight of, of Cups, there's this feeling of like an invitation. They will they will see each other. Like they will, like, and, and they will talk about each other or they will mention each other more. There's something about them also feeling more free to express admiration for each other. You know that I think that they they felt like they shouldn't say this. I don't know if it's because of the shippers or because of people making them feel uncomfortable. But there's something about like you know now I'm not afraid to say that I love you like a brother, like you know that you're important to me. And there's something about them you know reconnecting and also being very emotional uh, and very supportive. They always been supportive of each other, supportive among all the members, but there was some distance between them. And now it's, it's all over, like those feelings are are already, that sort of like companionship, you know, like, you know, the sort of like, you know, like um, when you are like, you are my person and I'm your person, you know, and, and we are just like confiding in each other and talking about ourselves and, and you know, giving each other. Uh, some feedback and, and this has been very intimate, you know, I think that there's something about also not letting people get in their their friendship, you know, be keeping it very close, intimate and, and just, you know, not letting other people like ruin this for them. And I think that this is important because I believe that, that the, the, the comments, you know, and, and people perception had somehow ruined their dynamic. I don't know why. I don't know if people is like compare the two of them, you know, about if who is more popular than who. Um, but it had sort of like ruined the dynamic at some point where they were just separated, um, even if they were in the same room, for example. But now it's, it's all is healing, all is healing. And they are like slowly like getting rid of all this weight, these responsibilities, you know, this, uh, the tough uh, aspect of fame probably. And they are opening their hearts to each other. So this is very loving. Definitely I see them like inviting each other to events or, or going together somewhere. Probably you will see them more often together. So yeah. This is going to be great for them, guys. This is a great, a great year is going to be for them. Very emotional, very loving, very, <clears throat> very accepting. So yeah, a great, a great, a great friendship in here. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate uh, the person that recommended this. And yes, this is all I have for today. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.